I used to drink milk with every meal and grew up to be the biggest kid in my class, which had some benefits on the football field, but some consequences at the water park. I see you're drinking 1%. Is that because you think you're fat? Was dairy responsible for giving me the kind of boobies that make babies hungry? Or does dairy strengthen our bones while building our strength? I researched the history of dairy in our diet, its nutritional value, health risks, and started eating dairy every day so that I could answer the question, should you eat dairy? Milk is the one food that we can guarantee was consumed by every human throughout history. And if you don't believe me, then just try asking your mom for a before and after picture of her nipples. It's not that drinking milk makes you love life, it's that if you didn't love milk, you wouldn't have a life to love. Our ancestors have been consuming milk since the arrival of the first mammal over 200 million years ago, but it's only been around 11,000 years since the first humans started drinking the milk of other mammals. And yeah, most people are sheep, and some are cows, and a few are goats, but that doesn't mean we should be drinking their milk. Babies produce an enzyme called lactase, which breaks down lactose, the primary sugar in milk, into digestible glucose and galactose. During the roughly decade-long hiatus that most of us take from sucking on nipples, our body stops producing the lactase enzyme, turning lactose-tolerant children into lactose-intolerant adults who experience symptoms ranging from gas to bloating to diarrhea when consuming dairy. For most of mammalian history, we had no need for a lactase enzyme once we became children, so our body stopped spending resources to produce it. But during the agricultural revolution, some societies began incorporating the milk of ungulates into their diet. These animals turned inedible plants into nutrient-rich calories, giving anyone who could tolerate dairy a replenishing food source, creating a selective pressure to retain the lactase enzyme into adulthood. Today, roughly 45% of adults can tolerate lactose, with the highest rates of intolerance in Asia and the highest rates of tolerance in Northern Europe. This white beverage may sound like a white privilege, but even if you're lactose intolerant, you should still be able to digest up to 18 grams of lactose a day without experiencing any issues. And anyone watching this video has the privilege of accessing a modern grocery store where you can find plenty of lactose-free options. If you think you might be lactose intolerant, you can start by removing all dairy from your diet before reintroducing products one at a time to assess your tolerance. Today's the day that I'm going to be adding butter back into the diet. Butter is almost pure fat, making it tolerable for just about anyone. I woke up the last two days feeling a ton of mental clarity, and I also had two of the smoothest bowel movements that I've had since starting a carnivore diet. Even though I'm eating some of the most gluttonous meals of my entire life, I'm actually losing weight. Doesn't seem to be any negative consequences so far. Guess I'll have to see what happens when I add cheese or yogurt back in. Cheese also has basically no lactose, but unlike butter, it does contain milk proteins. Dairy contains two types of protein whey and casein, both of which can cause allergic reactions, ranging in severity from life-threatening to barely perceivable. It's possible that you have an allergy and can't even recognize how it's affecting you. But even though dairy is the most common food allergy, it's still quite rare, only affecting around 2-3% of children, 90% of whom outgrow the allergy by the time they're 3. The whey protein is removed during the cheese making process, making cheese the perfect food to test your tolerance to casein. I did not think a cheese could make any difference in my life, but it seems to be giving me some tremendous psychological benefits. One reason why people find cheese and other dairy products so appealing is because our bodies break down the casein into casomorphins, opioid peptides which attach to the same brain receptors as heroin. Sometimes I think about going back and changing my past, but I never thought that I'd want to be a baby until I realized that their only responsibility is to suck on tits that feed them heroin. I honestly have not felt this good for several months and I've never been so enthusiastic about the future. This cheese seems to be satisfying some drug-like craving in me, but it's actually making me more productive. Casomorphins might make cheese harder to resist than other animal products, but these opioid peptides are not exclusive to dairy. Wheat, soy, and even spinach contain their own endogenous opioids, which you probably won't hear mentioned on any vegan podcasts. There are opiates in cheese. The casomorphins are casein-derived morphine-like compounds. They attach to the very same receptors that morphine would attach to in my brain or your brain. If you struggle with your weight and find dairy completely irresistible, then you're probably better off avoiding it. It's been three or four days and I've literally gone through almost three blocks of cheese. But I'm a 
glutton, and even after eating cheese every day, I still didn't gain any weight. If there is one negative thing that I would have to say about cheese, it's that it might be making me a little bit constipated, but that's actually a benefit for me at this point, because for the last seven or eight months on the carnivore diet, I've barely had one solid bowel movement, but now I've had the best ones I've had over the course of this entire experiment. So for me, the solid logs are in the solid plus category. If you don't experience any issues with casein and don't need a muzzle to stop yourself from eating cheese, then you can try experimenting with yogurt before graduating to milk and testing your tolerance for lactose. Even though that was just a small quantity of lactose, I'm going to use this experience to gauge whether or not I'm ready to progress onto the most lactose rich dairy product milk. But even if you can tolerate lactose, does that mean you should eat it? People often conflate the fact that some people have to limit their dairy intake with the idea that no one should eat it. Others cite old studies linking dairy consumption to heart disease, cancer, and early death. But a 2016 study found that while dairy may have a neutral to negative effect on prostate cancer, it has a positive effect on four other cancers, leading the authors to conclude that the benefits of dairy outweigh the risks. And a meta-analysis of 20 one studies found no correlation between dairy consumption and heart disease, stroke, or all-cause mortality. So you can feel comfortable drinking milk without losing your life. And now that I'm not experiencing any negative consequences from any of the other dairy products, I think I'm finally ready to start drinking this milk. But will the hormones in milk forever alter your life? When I was a kid, I played a lot of hockey in the US, and despite being one of the biggest kids on my Canadian team, I could barely meet the eye line of our American opponents. Now, this was in the early 2000s when the most popular method of research was gossip, and the rumor was that the American kids were drinking steroids in their milk. Decades later, and Google actually confirms this gossip. Bovine growth hormone is illegal in Canada and Europe, but it is allowed on US dairy farms. Before you go searching for your passport or car keys to get some government approved steroids, they're only used on around 20% of dairy farms, with most milk products being labeled as hormone free, even though it's never been verified that this hormone has any effect on humans. If you are concerned about how dairy is affecting your hormone levels, then you can test them by using the sponsor of this video, Let's Get Checked. Let's Get Checked offers a variety of health tests and delivers them to your door. You collect your blood sample with a simple pinprick and send it to the lab using the prepaid shipping label. Let's Get Checked's medical team will review your results, which you can monitor using their free mobile app. Click the link in the description below this video to see the tests that they have available and use the coupon code RIMMER20 to save 20% off your first order. You can use this discount to test your estradiol because another concern is that American dairy cows are kept pregnant 10 months out of the year, increasing their estrogen output during their milk production. However, you would need to drink 5,000 liters of milk to get the same amount of estrogen as a single birth control pill and even if that was possible, it would all be destroyed by your digestive tract before ever entering your bloodstream because it isn't coated in a protective layer like oral medications. Cheers. If you're not allergic to milk or intolerant of lactose, then hormone-free milk shouldn't have any consequences, which is great news considering how delicious this nutritional powerhouse tastes. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is insane. That is insane how good a glass of milk tastes when you haven't had any sugar for the past eight months. For those who can digest it, milk is arguably one of the healthiest foods on the planet, providing every ingredient that you need to transform a helpless baby into a functional child. Meanwhile, milk alternatives are growing in popularity despite having a list of ingredients that will make you question whether drinking this word soup is making you illiterate. Dairy milk is one of the only natural foods to provide every macronutrient and a wide variety of micronutrients, including B vitamins, vitamin D, and calcium. Damn, that tastes so good. This honestly tastes like a milkshake. Calcium is the most abundant mineral in the human body, and we need it for essential functions like strengthening our bones, contracting our muscles, and operating our brains. Deficiencies can range in severity from brain fog to muscle cramps to broken bones, yet only 32% of Americans meet the recommended daily intake. Some plant foods provide calcium, but it's laced with anti-nutrients like oxalates and phytates, which prevent calcium absorption by over 90%. Dairy, on the other hand, is fortified with vitamin D, which enhances our body's ability to utilize calcium while providing an additional 
nutrient that most people lack. Whey and casein may cause symptoms for some people, but for the rest of us, they are so effective at delivering every essential amino acid that they've earned the majority of shelf space at health supplement stores. After two weeks with dairy in my diet, the muscle cramps that have been plaguing me for months finally started to diminish. I also added two reps to my squats while maintaining my body weight and increased my productivity for the first time in six months. It's been more than a week of eating more dairy in a day than I usually have in a month, and there haven't been any side effects unless you count feeling happier about life a side effect. Stopping yourself from overeating dairy may require more self-control than other animal products, but the improvements to your quality of life are well worth the struggle. Dairy is delicious, nutritious, easily accessible and more versatile than any other food on the planet. If you think you might be lactose intolerant or allergic to milk, then try eliminating all dairy products before reintroducing them one at a time. I thought I might be lactose intolerant because the last time I cut dairy out of my diet, I ended up in the fetal position for a few hours when I added it back in. Turns out the real problem was that you shouldn't go from weeks of eating clean to cleaning out an entire tub of ice cream. Your problem might not be with the dairy, but the additives. I'm going to keep dairy part of my diet, both for the nutritional benefits and the quality of life improvements. It's not going to be a substantial part of my diet, but complete abstinence is an unnecessary restriction. The real problem with dairy comes when it's used as an ingredient rather than a whole food. Cheers. Next, I'm adding the last animal product and first major carb to my diet, honey. If you want to learn how it affects me to start eating honey and have my first carbs besides lactose in over nine months, then subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thank you for watching and I'm excited to continue sharing this journey with you.